Hey guys, I want to give you a quick overview over the spline tools which changed a few versions of Cinema back um, and because of my spline introduction video it's a bit outdated so there were some requests for giving a short update on that so here it is. So whenever you want to draw a spline now and I think it's up from version R19 maybe R20 I'm not sure about that um, Maxon introduced new a new spline tool and it's actually improved a lot compared to the old one. So you have this spline pen, which is actually all you need in most cases. And as always, if you want to draw a spline, I would suggest you go in one of the 2D views to draw a spline. And then you can just go ahead, click and track, and you have exactly the same behavior as in Photoshop or Illustrator if you use the path tool. So this works pretty neatly. You can also have now this close spline function. You see it's uh, symbolized by this small ring. So whenever I click here, you see this spline shape is now closed. Now let me delete that again. Um, another new cool feature uh, in this is that you can actually draw something. Then if you hit escape or you go to another object or whatever, you can now continue to draw on that spline by just clicking on one point and then you'll start to uh, start from that point to draw again. Um, you can actually draw from the end. This is something which was a bit more tedious in, in the earlier versions of cinema. So this is quite an improvement. Now what you might miss now is where can I change the form of my spline or the curvature of my spline to the different spline types. Um, you still have this over here in the spline attributes panel. You can change it here to linear, for example. But what you can also do is if you have activated the spline pen, you can go here in the spline pen and say that you want to have a linear shape. Easy as that. Let's see, sometimes uh, there was a little bug I discovered, but now, now it works. Um, so you can, you can switch between the th things, but as you saw right now, keep in mind that whenever you change something here, and you change the the type again you might lose your curvature or your the shape you draw before so uh, i would su suggest to stay in in one type mode here another cool thing is that um, you can activate the create new splines option here and this is now whenever i draw a new spline you see that a new spline object will pop up here so by that i can draw a lot of splines and always have a new spline object. If this isn't activated and you draw something or draw a spline and then you draw another one, it actually gets merged again into the spline from before. So you always keep this one spline uh, object you have. Um, yeah, another thing which is new is the different spline Boolean operations. So let's say we have a square, rectangle, and maybe a circle. And then we move that somewhere like here. Now you can select those both splines and you go to do this Boolean operation. It's actually like a spline mask, um, which is still existing, but this is like a faster way to do the Boolean operations. You can, for example, spline subtract to subtract the one spline from the other or we can go to spline union to get the union shape of the both splines. And yeah, you can just um, try them out by yourself. Intersection is also quite neat. Um, you can use that to further improve the, the splines you're drawing and um, make it makes everything a, a bit more simple. Yeah, that's it um, about the spline tools. That's Basically, I mean, the, the sketch pen is also uh, a bit new. It's basically used if you want to draw a spline just by like in a free mode. Um, that's also also fine, but I rarely use, use this. I'm always going straight to the spline pen, actually. And all the other spline features, um, which we covered in the in the tutorial, for example, the create outline feature, they are pretty much all the same. There's nothing new about that. So it's just the, the spline pen and the different drawing types, which is which was new in an in an earlier version of cinema. Um, it's already quite old again, so 
it's it's a bit late with that tutorial but just to follow up on the old spline introduction tutorial uh, as a quick update okay hope you're doing fine and uh, see you soon with a, another tutorial